what, what the mate is talking about. What's up, family? The dirty people in the White House has finally come clean and admitted that Russia meddled in the 2016 presidential elections, which would prove unequivocally that Donald Trump, as most people thought, was totally unfit and incapable of becoming president of the United States of America legally. The election was rigged all along, even before it came out that Russia meddled in the election. I didn't know who did it or what did it. And I just knew that it's no way possible that this dude could win and become the president of the United States, maybe in the primaries, but in the general election, I just felt like it was way too many people in the United States to allow that to happen. Way too many progressive people. I just didn't feel that it was enough people who thought like him. I know there's a lot of people out there that think like him, but I was not convinced that it was that many people. I didn't think that he had the numbers. I didn't think he had the amount of people that he need, needed to actually become the president of the United States. Turns out I was right and so was millions of other people, hundreds of millions of people around the world. This dude is crud. He has no class. He's has no dignity. The dude is straight trash. Even with all that money he had, totally unqualified to become the president of the United States. How many bankruptcies did he have? People just look at the success. They just look at his name on the, the buildings and the golf courses and all the pretty stuff. They don't look at all of the business partners he left in ruins, all of the businesses he destroyed, the people he didn't pay, the colleges that he ripped off, those students he ripped off at that university, so-called, I think it was Trump University. <laughs> yeah. They don't count all of those situations. They don't count the years of discrimination and the lawsuits that followed him and his daddy from tenants who lived in properties that they owned, who lived in apartment properties that they owned. They didn't count all of those. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Putin put you where you are. Here's how most of Donald Trump's pres presidency has gone. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Okay, it happened, but it was alternative facts. That's how they do it. Like deny, 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 deny until the truth comes out and then uh, blame it on somebody else. It's fake news. Just blame it on somebody else. First on Twitter, he got this thing that he, he likes to do. You know, he is Adolf Twitler. He ain't, they don't call him Adolf Twitler for no reason. He gets on Twitter and he acts like a little dictator. Um, so he gets on Twitter and he dismisses concerns about Russia involvement in the U.S. elections. And he says that it's a big damn hoax. And he suggests that his predecessor, Barack Obama, didn't do enough to confront the issue. So let me get this straight, if I'm reading this correctly. The whole thing is just a hoax to make him look bad. But at the same time, 
it's a big problem that Obama should have done more to address. Man, what is it? Man, is it left or is it right? Is it up or is it down? Is it cold or is it hot? What the hell is going on, dude? Can you make up your mind? Dude got a hard on for Obama. I'm telling you, man, if I didn't know better, I would think that this dude want to have some type of relationship that ain't really cool with Obama's son. You know, I'm, I'm just saying he act like a woman. He act like a jaded female, like a, a jaded lover. That's what he acts like. You know, the way he just ride, he been riding Obama before Obama ever got in office. He was just riding Obama before ever Obama got elected way in the, in the primaries. When he saw Obama had a shot at beating uh, most of the field, he started going in dropping little sly remarks about Obama. And then he would never let the birthing issue go. He was just riding Obama. Every chance he get, he got something negative to say about the Obama administration. Negative, negative, negative. And remember how many times he attacked the Obama family? But he don't want nobody to say nothing about his dysfunctional family. I'm riding on their ass. I ain't letting, I am not letting up. I'm going to keep my foot on their necks. I'm not letting up. This dude needs to be impeached. The only thing about it is that if he gets impeached, we're not going to get a new election. We're going to get Mike Pence. Oh, God. Man, that's like laying in the bed with the devil and a monster. How can you win? How can you win? This country is in trouble. This country is in major trouble. And what's even more telling is that there are still people who won't wake up out of that dream, won't wake up out of that deep sleep, that deep Donald Trump coma. This dude put a spell on y'all. He put a spell on millions of y'all. How did he do it? I don't know, because ain't nothing special about him. I just don't know what it was. Okay, I know what it was. It was preserving white privilege. Okay, I get it. I get it. That's what it was. That's what it was. It wasn't really nothing else. Because the dude is crud. Straight crud. You know, he a trick. You know, all these women, all these women bought and paid for. All his baby mamas bought and paid for. He a trick. Three baby mamas. How many kids he got? Four or five kids or something like that. Imagine a black man running for president with three baby mamas, six bankruptcies, a number of discrimination lawsuits. <laughs> Come on, man. Y'all think something like that would have flew in America? Come on, let's be real with it. Let's be honest. Somebody had a song out there. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Come on, just, it's just me and you right here talking. Go ahead and tell me. Go and let me know how you feel. Go ahead and tell the truth for the first time about Donald Trump. Tell the truth. You know he's a sucker. You know he's trash. You know he's garbage. And he, the thing about it is that many of you would have stuck with him. You're sticking with him anyway, but many of you would stick with him in private also. Besides just being sticking with him in public, but you would stick with him in private if he wasn't so stupid. If, if, he, if, he, if he didn't just project himself to be so stupid, you still stick with him. But left and right, left and right, the dude 
keeps contradicting himself. He get, keep getting caught in lies. He keep doing stupid stuff. And when he does stupid stuff, it makes the people who voted for him look even stupider because only a fool would follow a fool. And Donald Trump has shown you, oh, he's damn sure a fool, without a doubt. He is a fool. Obama, 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 that's all he yelled. Obama, Obama, Obama this, Obama this, Obama this. The dude don't even know that he's the president of the United States. He don't even know he won. He's still campaigning. He act like he's still on the campaign trail trying to prove that Obama is unfit to be president. Dude don't even know he's president of the United States. You got a commie in the White House and 38% of Americans approve. And you call yourself patriots. All of you, every single one of you should be deported to Russia. Every single one of you should be deported to Russia immediately. Hypocrites. That's all you are. Let's keep it real. A bunch of hypocrites. God bless America. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about? Yeah. Florida, Texas.